Hello, Charlie Lowndes here again with the third in our little series of videos about how to use AviSynth scripting to play around with making movies using a scripting language. We're going to be a bit ambitious in this one and both crop and then animate um, the cropping of our train picture from Didcot. Cropping is fairly straightforward. Um, I'm going to set up something called Trains Clip uh, and use the image reader instruction to bring in that image and set the length of the clip to 100 frames at 25 frames a second. Then I'm going to use the crop on Trains Clip and the first two parameters tell me whereabouts, which where the corners are, and the third and fourth tell me the width and the height. Activity 6.4 goes into this in a whole lot more detail, but I've gone for somewhere around about the middle of the, my, my big picture, and I've cropped it into 400 by 300, so you can see the result in the video preview down below. If we run the external preview, let's see what happens. We can get that into the middle of the picture, and there we are, and it runs for about four seconds, and it's just a rather dull still. Um, we could do useful things with that. One of the things I'm going to do is to animate it. Note that I can have lots of scripts open in my window on little tabs. So here's test script 4. This time I'm going to uh, take the same trains clip, but instead of just cropping it, I'm going to animate the crop. Animate um, requires a few things. You've probably noticed that when you do the code autocomplete, um, if you call up animate, um, once you start with the bracket, you get a whole lot of helpful, useful things. It's slightly less helpful than sometimes with uh, the val start arguments. It doesn't quite tell you exactly what to do, but uh, if you um, work through the book, it tells you what's going on. Uh, essentially, we've got the um, length of the clip, length of the animation. How long is it going to take to do it? 50, between frames 0 and 50. Um, the business that we want to animate is a crop. Um, we need to specify where the crop starts, so the corners and the size, and where it's going to finish the corners and the size. Size has got to be the same for both, otherwise it's all going to get into a muddle. Uh, activity 3.25 is the key to all this, but just to show you what will happen, um, we can use the... Um, little progress bar along the bottom here, a little sliding cursor, to see what happens as we zoom, as we um, effectively, we're going to do a pan, we're not zooming, we're panning um, diagonally across the picture. Remember we said it would have to be finished in 50 frames, so by the time we get to frame 51, nothing much happens after that. Um, but to start with, we start down in a, in a corner on the tracks, and then we pan upwards and rightwards. Um, it's probably easy to see if we use the external preview. There we go. So it takes a couple of seconds to do that and it finishes after four seconds. So that's using animation to get a bit of motion into our motion picture. And that's the end of this short series for now.